Hello my YouTube family. Today we are reviewing the new decks. I got five new decks. I'm very happy about this. And as well we will continue with the ceremony uh, for full moon of the October the 1st, 2020. So let's say which are the new deck here and don't forget the new guests to subscribe and don't forget the rest of my YouTube family to hit the like button and share with your community. So the third, first deck is the Tarot of Sexual Magic. It has lovely, lovely printing. Okay, it didn't come, uh, it didn't come uh, damaged. It's okay. The, it's a very smooth in hands. It's convenient size comparing with my hands, right? Very smooth. Better that it's not gold gilded. It's simple, right? There is no gold by side, as you see. But I thought that it will be some kind of the messages, the hidden, dark, secretive sexual messages about your soulmate or your lover. But it just turned that it's just a simple deck with 78 cards like any other, let's say this one. My classical right de deck that is uh, with 78 cards, small and major arcana. So this is the same, the same thing. Just we have a lot of printings like a kind of uh, sexy old time winter comics. You see? And eventually not every of these cards is connected with the, the painting. Uh, its image is not connected with direct transparent answer like it's having the classical deck you see so you get it the classical deck has very simple and uh, description is so obvious from this uh, from these images but here we just have a lot of naked couples. So my impression, I like the paintings as a paintings, but I don't find it so easy to connect with them. We'll see from time. I just don't find it easy to connect. There is, for example, the night. Oswald. That should be a different meaning, but this is a definitely a couple uh, involved with the, uh, in sexual intercourse, but it should be a different meaning. Then look at this one. Another one, again. This was King of, of Swords and there is a Knight of Swords. I don't see anything harsh fast or in, in communication with this one or fighty that should be for me represented for this then we have a queen of sword i don't see what is the truth here because queen of sword should be a symbol for the truth for the strictness i do not understand i mean there is one little voodoo thing here but this should be the card of the magician right if there is any kind of wood material so we have a king of swords again he is getting involved with this lady but there is a third party there you see there is a third party behind so i think this should be on a card of of number three three swords not the king of swords so we can continue like this, but the point is that I still confused with the meaning of these cards and I just imagined them uh, for me 
buying these cards it's a failure because i imagine that they will have a secret sexual um, messages from a lover or twin flame um, and i just go to the simple deck with the comical sexy images that's all so much about tarot of sexual magic right we will look with this tarot later when we start reviewing the october month for all the signs so now we're returning to a second deck that was similar to this it's a wheel of the year it's a lovely print uh, maria carati antonella platano 878 uh, major and minor arcana again involved it looks you see it looks uh very pictures happy happy and romantic on the other side right let's see how this looks one second so i prepare for you the just to see minor arcana for example one second this is it the cards are again same printing company i mean it's a wheel of fortune on the back it's the same printing company with the other four that is coming so i'm just happy with this with this uh, publisher and it was a good price as well convenient comparing the, the other previous that i was buying this was really a good catch and they are very smooth there you see the sizes they are very smooth not gold gilded gold gilded is i recommend just for the short messages just for the angel messages or quantum messages it's uh, something that it's very hard to shuffle and not for the major of the reviews tarot reading that takes sometimes one to two hours right for one person or sign and do not order the gold gilded for the major minor arcana together i mean for the deck of 78 uh, cards you need something like this simple and smooth and you see it's very smooth the cards are very romantic pictures somehow in a vibe they have a vibe they are romantic but they have a vibe of uh romanticism the end of 19th century mix with the hippie vibe of the 70s you saw this right a lot of sunflower feathers right shaman hippie wives romanticism everything about love you see this lovely tree house right the four of wands it's very cute i love it it's very happy deck i have to get used to this so it's wheel of the year it's just the major and minor kind of together 78 decks i must say and you would like this to see in your hands it's very smooth and one of my favorite copies of course uh, card is the card of the lover that is on the uh, cover you see these lovers with the two cups it's amazing isn't it so dreamy so that was the wheel of the year let's see the major kind of how it looks the full there is this guy who is in a rainbow circle and about to pop out brave through the cliffs in this case there is no dog but he has a lot of butterfly the energy of the butterfly and universe with the rainbow to help him to find the strength to go over the cliff over every obstacle in the life to cross that to another cliff then number one in this case is magician 
we say the magician is having uh, all the sources here, all the four elements playing with the four elements and with the eternity symbol of the twin flames. I love this card, I must say. This is better than in a simple uh, white deck. Uh, really, I love it. Then you're having the high priest, the lady, the high priest, high priestess lady with the symbol uh, of two columns we see the white and black energy she's balancing she's full of the sources wisdom with her book and this is the lady that is sitting on this throne you see the throne the shape of the throne isn't that amazing and she's full of wisdom uh, looking and reading for this book full of the knowledge Empress card Empress card the symbol of Taurus it's amazing it feels almost like sexual magic tarot right she is there uh, naked nude she's full power in charge he's holding the moon and the sun they are balancing moon and the sun there is everything in this empire and there is a lot of flowers and full abundance the the field where she's walking right she's full happy with everything and she's uh so so full of wisdom she's just balanced between this dark and white bright energy the empress in her kingdom kingdom and there is emperor super shiny the symbol can be a fairies and he has this glow full of uh, energy of the same field full of flowers in this case the symbol of the fire elements the, look at this red light down the red flowers and the shimmering light there behind him hierophant here found here the pole card the here found here the guy who is full of a wisdom sometimes this is a symbol of Taurus as well uh, this is definitely uh, the new knowledge that we are getting and we are obliged to follow this wisdom that is the symbol for me in this case of this from this image you see the lovers here the lovers are so gentle romantic almost like a paradise these two pigeons connecting them the higher wisdom the angels connecting them they're in a knot twin flame note Then we have the card of chariot about to have action this warrior is about to go to the shiny side of of a new path with this lovely black and white horse the strength card sometimes symbol of leon or just a character of, of your emotions and occasions in your uh, reports. The hermit can be symbol of version or just isolation. Virgo or pardon or isolation, any kind of isolation, thinking, hiding the f reading the your life inner wisdom about to have a real new path in the life or not, just being isolated. Wheel of Fortune, the circle of life rolling, and there is this winter behind, and there is a summer. There are all four seasons in a Wheel of Fortune, so it's rolling, and again, it's going back to the summer and going back to the winter, the circle of life. Justice card, you see, the justice is served. The symbol of, of Libra as well. There is a winter, there is balance of these two powers, 
the coldness, darkness and the summer uh, with elements. And you know in general what is the character of the justice card, the karma very well served. The hangman, the hangman, look at, he's hanging on the cold, he's, he's kept on the cold in this status quo position, he's almost got frozen too long hanging on this tree without new solution. Death card, bringing the new things. You see this pumpkin lady, the fire, um, she is preparing her wisdom there. Something that will be cut from this cutting will grow the new seeds, you see. Because inside of this pumpkin there are new seeds and they will grow the new flowers, the new seeds. So after the death, definitely there is a new circle of life and possible rebirth. Emotional rebirth, the way it's rebirthing with the new seeds. Uh, every new season rebirthing. The flowers, right? Look at my Taurus corner, full of different flowers. I'm so obsessed with the flowers in any kind of form. And because I'm Taurus. Temperance card. Look at this. Temperance, this lady there. She's refilling these jars. Almost Aquarius card. Uh, refilling, refilling the things, you see? There are these jars right in this cold water she is a fairy tale and her full of wisdom is she's full of wisdom in patience waiting waiting and that is the character of the card of temperance and devil devil energy the full of passion lust addiction sexual addiction right Tower, tower moment. This, this kingdom was not built on a good root, so we see that the rotten root and fake emotions give a, give uh, any kind of relationship or project failure. The star, the wish fulfilling star. Look at this girl that is praying, but that she is doing a moon therapy somehow and praying, wishing over the stars to make her dream come true. Right? I love this card. It's one of three favorite for me. Moon card. There is a mysticism in this one. Secret things not revealed. We we see under the surface. Reflection in the water there, these things, but we don't know what is in fact there, what is the hidden there under the surface, reflecting in the water. We just see some few things, we don't see everything, right? The moon card, being secretive. The sun, symbol of Leo, look at the power, the meditation, the full power with the sun. The garden is full. The guy is full of power in meditation. He has this powerful symbol on his head. And judgment card. Judgment. You see, there is a justice coming. After being left on this ice, it's coming the sun and coming... Uh, the new seeds of the love. There is a justice served after every bad karma is done. And the world card that was on the cover page, right? The world card represents all the symbol of all the four seasons again, all the nature and the frozen and the spring and the summer elements and the autumn. Isn't that amazing? But somehow I would prefer that this circle would be on the uh, wheel of fortune and the royal card for me would be reverse the thing that is on the on represented on the wheel of fortune so anyway this is just me being critical and analyzing my my style
but the cards are really smooth and nice, easy to handle. So that was Wheel of Year. And we will look, we will check in uh, in uh, next video. We will check the next free one. Okay. Second part is coming soon. I love you all. Don't forget to hit the like button. Kisses.